What's up everybody? Kenneth James here, back again. And we are finishing up Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the game. And uh, the level, as you see, did load in. I was worried that it wasn't. If you watched the end of that last video, it was scary. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't do that anymore. It's just, it's frightening every time it does it. I think that uh, the next level isn't going to load in and we're going to be screwed. We are so close to the end, so, so close. Gotta try and cool things down a little. Can't be fighting the undead all sweaty. Hmm. Can I pick this guy off from here? Ah, come on, stop. Stop. Ah, you bastard. Come on. Where'd he go? Alright, here we go, here we go. Stop, stop, stop. Nice. Alright. That feels good. I mean, I could go over there and kick his ass, but that feels pretty good when you can pull that off. Alright. Am I supposed to push this, or no? Oh. Didn't see that ladder. Gonna trample you, little girl. No, you're not. Oh, good kiss me, Mike. If I never see another vampire, it'll be too soon. Throw him in the fire, maybe? Ah! Oh. Come on, in the fire. In the fire. In the fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Love it. Alright. It's, it's a lot more fun when you can be creative with your kills by throwing them into barrels or spikes or knocking them off into whatever. No? Alright. Thought I'd try that one first. Hmm. That vampire did not seem too concerned. Slayer, come out, come out wherever you are. What? Who was that? Always keep the lights yeah. off when I'm working with heavy machinery and vats of Ooh, maybe death. I pick this guy off. Conservation, you know? Let's go. Him off, pick him off. Ah, he saw me. So I want to pick him off. Yeah, yeah. I was choosing my weapon. Kick my ass while I'm choosing my weapon. Ooh, maybe I can throw him into that. Or kick him into it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Throw him in. Oh no way! I thought he's going in for sure. Nothing like a brisk walk right. and a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Okay, do I have to do these in any certain order? Or I'm not really sure. Got these switches here. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to do, so I'm just gonna turn them. I've, like I've mentioned before, most of the stuff in Buffy, except for the beginning. Most of this later stuff hasn't been really puzzles. It's just been kind of turn these knobs and do these things. Now, what was the purpose of that? Is that like helping something cool down somewhere else? No, nope, can't go back up there, evidently. Nope. Oh, well, I'm probably just supposed to turn him again and then go through that door. Yeah, okay. Okay. Going further down into the foundry. Pretty decent ambient noise down here with the steam and the water dripping. Not bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Here, let me scratch that itch. Man. That sucked. I hate when they corner me like this. 
You think you can take me? Come on, kick my ass. Ah! Music to my ears. Okay. Uh, where am I at now? Did I already go through here? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spit me back out here, I guess because I fell off that bridge. Yeah, right back where we started. I don't know why that looked different. I guess just because I fell down. Let's see if I can see any secrets or anything. Okay. Alright. I think we're going in the right direction. Anything over here? No. I just like to peek in all the corners anymore, because you know, I missed so much stuff at the beginning when I very first started playing. Guess you wish you stayed home tonight. No. Didn't mean to do that. I already. You guys must have a hard outer shell take that many stomps there we go I like it when I can just line them up and just kick them against the wall am I supposed to go up here there's a door over here maybe no oh go away Hi. Let that be a lesson to you, or you know, those who pass by your mangled corpse. Okay. All right. I guess I was going the right direction. Is there something to grasp onto up here. Oh, there's a bridge. I did not see that. Okay. It's all very odd construction. Oh, leap of faith. Here we go. Alright. Got some steam pipes. Classic video game trope. I would say if those steam pipes hit me, I would say they would probably knock me off and I would fall to my death. We do not want to do that. Ooh, that one was close. Alright. <laughs> I like how there's signs here like this is how everybody gets up there. That, That's how everybody gets up here. I mean, why else would there be signs up here? It's very strange. All right. Oh God, I didn't think I was gonna make it. That would have been bad news bears. Right. I can't see very well in here. I don't know what it'll look like when I upload it, but it's really dark. Ah, more spiders. Sometimes in this job, I just got me cornered You've got me cornered all right yeah I'm just gonna run away from that one if I can no he's gonna follow me because he's a jerk look at him here he comes there we go that's what I like to do to him when I can kind of get a got to get a uh, little bit of a walking 
kind of a little trot, little jog up to him to be able to do it. You just can't do it when you're standing there. Burn, baby, burn. Okay, looking good. Got five Hellfire vials. Got some elixir, holy elixir. Excuse me. Uh, crossbow bolts. Looking good. I'm like I'm liking my uh, I'm liking my inventory, my supply situation. Like to have supplies, especially as we get down closer to the master. Button pushing and switch throwing. That hatch may be my ticket out of here. Sure, a dirty and potentially lethal ticket, but a ticket just the same. Oh, these guys. Would you please shut up? There, take that. Ah, Put music to my ears. All right. Just a uh, little bit of a detour there. There's sometimes, like I've said before, when I just... Like, I almost don't know what the purpose is of those enemies. I mean, they should just kind of let me throw the switch and move on. <laughs> I have fought so many of those guys. Sometimes, I, I mean, I know they do that to kind of extend the gameplay, but when you've fought so many of those dudes, and they're not challenging at all, um... It's just kind of just of an annoyance. I mean, what what really were they gonna do to me? This had better work. You two have seen too many Hope and Crosby road movies. I assure you, it will work. Now shut up and let us finish. Welcome, Slayer. I've been wondering when you would arrive. After all, you and I are meant to be together in this. And oh, by the way, I think it's your turn to die. Oh, snap. The time has come, Slayer. I don't remember fighting Angel. Angel slash, slash the master. It's time for round two. Alright. Oh, good, good hit, good hit. Oh, nice. Yeah, just throw him down in that pit. Oh, okay, there's a whole... <laughs> there's a whole floor. I thought we had to fight on that damn platform. That would have sucked. Get out of here. Yes. Oh, cheap, cheap shot. Look at that. Angel can't do that. <laughs> All right, kicking his ass. All right. If you can hear me, Angel, please stay down. Hello, Poodle. How are we feeling? All hmm. your talk about priorities, and you still help me out with Drew right off. I'm not going to forget that. Time to go play hero. Ought to be good for a laugh, eh? Ha! Huh. That did not look I like Drusilla. You are gifted with remarkable endurance. That does not make you a warrior. Don't you see that you cannot win? In this I battle, don't know. either you die or Angel does. But whatever the result, I will survive. Know what, Spanky? Even if I was fighting this battle alone, I'd take that bet. But the thing is, I'm not alone. Oh, damn. What? What is happening? How can this be? No, this body is mine. Glad to see you're in one piece, Slayer. Wouldn't want to be accused of not holding up my end of the bargain. And you, Gramps. 
I had enough of Angelus and Dala ordering me about in my day. Did you honestly think you could knock me about like some bloody village idiot, hold my girl for ransom, and not be watching your back? Spike, betrayer. Though not as pleasing to the eye, your flesh will suffice as my vessel until my plans are complete. How dare you? Nope. What have you done? Put a little crimp in your plans, <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Just flip Sorry. him off? The, the, uh, the UK version Damn of flipping you. somebody off? Damn you all! You have to stop them. The master, the Order of Aurelius, he sent them away with a Deglon spear. They've gone back to the sunken church. You have to stop them. Then it isn't over. It's over for us. I held up my end. Now it's time for Drew and me to be on our way. We don't fancy waiting around for the Order of Aurelius to exact their revenge. You got your girlfriend. Don't come back. Not to worry, Slayer. Drew and I have better things to do and far more pleasant destinations in mind. Good riddance to this horrid little town. A little disappointed in the Drew. Doesn't look like her and they didn't voice her. That's kind of disappointing. She's great. I love her on the show. But, uh, I mean, maybe they couldn't get the rights to her image or her voice, obviously. So We've pretty much gotten everybody else, so that's pretty good, I guess. Making with the mojo. Does that make me a warlock? Kinda excited about wielding the magic, but no more funky tribal masks. They ruin my credibility. Like you need help with that? Shouldn't we get on with it? This is already seeming like the longest night of my life. How's your ankle? I think it's sprained. Thanks to that creepy screaming thingy that attacked me, I'll never be able to lead the cheerleading squad now. <sighs> as much as it pains me to say, Buffy, you have to make the team for the both of us. Oh, and good luck with the whole saving the world thing. Buffy, let me have the Reaper blade a moment. With the Reaper wing attached, the weapon is far more effective, much more than a mere. Oh blade. yeah, I remember Simply this. Simply throw the blade, and it will scythe through the air, guiding itself to any demons in its proximity. Cut through them, and then return to your hand. Not unlike a boomerang. What to get for the Slayer who has everything? Yeah, this weapon's really nice. Well, there's more, actually. When thrown, if the blade strikes anything other than demon flesh, it'll temporarily ghost out of this reality. In other words, it will pass through any other form of solid matter without causing damage to it or the blade. <laughs> in so other words, video games. The Reaper. Yes, in a manner <laughs> of speaking. So simple. Even Cordelia could use it. How can the Master still be running things if he's just a ghost now? I thought when Willow magicked him out of Angel, that'd be the end of it. Unfortunately, it seems the spell that was used to draw his essence to this plane was powerful enough that he does not require a host shell. So how do we take him down? I'm sorry to say that it appears in order to truly defeat the Master, we must first restore him to corporeal form. Wait, give him back a body? Not find him another host, Buffy. We'll need to actually transform his spirit into flesh. It's the only way. I hate the sound of that. Well, while you enter the church, the rest of us will perform a rather complicated spell that will temporarily restore the master back to his physical form. The spell is quite tricky, and the master will only remain physically manifested while the spell is being performed. When you get inside the church, things might be kind of wacky. With the dreamer's power to warp reality, who knows what kind of twisted landscape they'll create. Can't be any worse than L.A. No matter what happens around you, you're gonna need to stay focused. To do that, I'm thinking maybe you should wear the necromancer's talisman. I found a spell that I can cast on it that, amplified by the talisman's own power, should guide you through whatever reality the dreamers create. Okay. Sounds helpful. Hey. You sure you're gonna be all right? I'm sure. Whatever all right is, thanks to you, that's what I'll be. Oh, sure. Now you're all right. When it's convenient not to be evil. Oh, good. Evil. What should I be? So hard to decide. I'm pretty wary too, Cordelia. But it wasn't Angel this time. He was possessed by the Master. 
He wasn't evil so much as a hotel for evil. Why is the evil never his fault? We're all just a big bunch of darkness enablers, aren't we? Hold on. Just because I don't like to talk about my past doesn't mean I don't accept responsibility for it. I bear that burden every day. I do not like the angel the model in this mine. game. I was used oh, he looks wine, just wine, all wrong. Wine. Join the club. You want to know what it's like to be used? Date a quarterback. Can we just go? If we don't track the master down fast, it may be too late to stop him. Oh, no. Between the master possessing you and what we had to do to break you loose, you're in no shape for this fight. I need you here. Here? What good am I going to do anyone here? Well, you've been around some magic in your time. Perhaps you can aid Willow and I in our research and preparation. Angel, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't be able to focus if I was worrying the whole time. Don't worry, I'll make myself useful. Even if I can't help with the actual sorcery, I can still help. The more people involved in this spell, the more powerful it is. I'll stick with Giles and the others and help turn the master into a buffy punching bag. But you should probably get going. Okay, is that everybody? We all talked it out? Alright. Let's move on. Getting so close, I'm excited. I'm excited that we're coming to the end of this 18, 18 uh, month adventure. <laughs> we're almost there. Don't worry, Buffy. I've memorized enough cheers, not to mention state capitals, that I'll get this materialization spell right. Platu Barata. Anyway, I'll get it. I can always mumble the stuff I don't know. Thanks. I'm all aglow with reassurance. <sighs> Just don't get hurt. Without you, the cheer squad will have to draft Pepsi Whiting, and she's got clown feet and the agility of a pregnant buffalo. Oh, it's weird, Buffy. The master's gone, but it's like I can still hear echoes of him in my head. He's completely obsessed now. In some ways, it's like he's more driven than ever to bring the old ones to Earth because them wreaking havoc. That would feel like he finally had his revenge on you. I think we've just started to get an idea of the this is all about me and hatred he has toward you. Feeling a big oh yeah coming on. Baldy keeps messing with my friends and love loved ones. Time for me to show him the intensity of my rage and hatred. For what it's worth, I'd say you're off to a good start. Some of us are already feeling it. I'm just glad we're on the same side again. Man. Am I that loaded up that I can't take their, uh, take their gifts? That's kind of crazy. Can I, um, combine anything? Huh, they are not letting me, it looks like, I wonder if that's a glitch. I should be able to combine these bolts and uh, this Hellfire vial. Huh. Maybe this is sort of like um, when I'm in the library I can't do anything when I'm in there. This is a uh, no-fly zone. <laughs> can't combine, can't combine elixirs or hellfire vials or bolts. I'd kind of like to do that before I move on, but and then I'd be able to pick those things up. But uh, they're not going to let me do it, so I guess we'll just move right along. All right, guys, I guess we're going to end it right there for that episode. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.